Hello everyone, welcome back to The Gaming Flow and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix F1 Manager 23 is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now. The game released right now and many users are having these kind of issue and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one when you're having this particular issue you can try with a simple restart on your pc or your system or whatever you're using so to do this just go over here in the start click on this one now go to this icon go for a restart once the restart is successfully done just try launching the game so this is what you have to do as the first step so launching the game after restart sometimes it might work so you can try this out i'm not gonna say this is definitely gonna work but start with a simple restart once you're done with the simple restart, we have to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to try with the verify integrity of game file. So I know that even some people uh, come in and say that, you know, uh, the game just right now downloaded and why we have to do the verify integrity of game file. But this worked for many of the users, so we can try this out. So to do this, we just need to go over here, right click and go to properties. Now from here, go to install it files. Just click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game. So sometimes if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed. So you can try this verify integrity of game file. So once you're done with the verify integrity of game file. So what you need to do is once you're done with this one, you'll be getting the play button over here once again. Just try launching the game from here and you can see you can see whether that's going to help you guys out or not. So uh, let's keep this the same because this has to reach 100%. So in the meantime, I'm going to navigate to the next step. So I'll move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from Steam. So sometimes that might even the issue. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder. For that reason, we have to go over here in the game we have two method we have a shortcut from steam and we have file explorer method so i'll show you both the first one go over here in the game right click and go to properties now from here go to install it file now from here just click on the browse now if you go back over here you'll be able to see that is this is the folder that is this pc local to c program file x86 steam steam apps common f1 manager 2023 so just launch the game from here so launching the game from the installation folder did work out for many users so you can try this out as well. So this is actually a shortcut from the Steam. Apart from this, we can also navigate to this using the file explorer. So just go to the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86 and from here go to Steam. Now from here go to Steam apps. Now from here go to common. Now from here we have to go to F1 manager 2023. So now launch the game. So we need to know the installation folder because down, down the road we have many steps where we have to depend on this. So always keep a habit to find the location. I mean how to go to or how to find the installation folder. So once you launch the game, see whether the issue is solved or not. If this is not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to run the game as an administrator. For just go over here in the game, right click, select this one, right click over here, go to show more option. Now from here go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here we have to go to click on this one, run this program as an administrator, select this one. Once you run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved or not. If this is not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to run the game in the compatibility mode and it worked for many users so we can try this out as well. For this we just need to go over here same right click over here go to show more option go to properties compatibility now from here you can see there is an option compatibility mode select this one as the first one we can either try with windows 7 or you can go for apply and go for ok or you can go for windows 8 and go for apply and go for ok so once you're done with this one just close this now we have to close this as well and we have to go back and try launching the game this is what you have to do next one is nothing but we have to uh, do is we just need to make sure that is date time and time zone should be correct for this we just need to go over here go to search over here now from here we have to go to settings now from here we have to go to time and language now from here we have to go to date and time 
now from here we have to go to time and time zone should be turn it on if this is turn it off we have to turn this on most people end up in turning this off so you have to turn this off sorry you have to turn this on turn this on as well now go back and go to the language and region over here as you can see i'm selected united states as the location of mine so you have to select the respective location from where you are actually so you have to select the respective geographical area of your region and once you set this up just close this now go back and try launching the game next one is nothing but we have to do this we just need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so just click on the play button the moment you are clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard and i don't know how this worked for many users but this did work it for many users in my knowledge for many games like call of duty modern warfare even for back uh, back for blood even uh, left for dead 2 even for dead space spider man morales and for the, for many games it worked it so just click on the play button but the moment you are clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab together on the keyboard and all together you have to launch the game and it worked it for many users as well next one is nothing but we have to delete the saved game file for this we just need to go over here in the search go to file explorer over here go to this pc go to documents over here and if you find the folder named uh, fifa i mean sorry the f1 manager and if you find the folder named on this game that is f1 manager 2023 you have to delete the respective folder you will be losing all the progressions on the game but that is fine you have to delete it once you delete it you just need to close this now go back and try e launch the game next one is nothing but we have to do is we just need to allow the game to windows security for this reason we have to go over here in the search now from here we have to go to control panel now from here we have to go to system and security from here we have to go to windows defender firewall go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now keep scrolling down hence it is an alphabet you will be able to find f1 manager 2023 is successfully added if you check over here in the private and public both the things are added so once you add this you just need to launch the game if the game is not added we can add it by default so just click on the change settings over here now click on allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local disk c program file x86 go to steam now from here go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go to f1 manager 2023 select this one and add it so right now if i add i'll be getting the error because game is already added so once you add the game you have to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is nothing but we have to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so especially for the games like f1 manager 23 we might be connected with joystick or even for logitech wheels even for many other things so if your usb ports are actually failed you have to remove everything once you remove everything launch the game after game is successfully launched just connect it back and try out playing the game and that will work for you as well and it worked for many users so you can try this out as well next one is nothing but we have to perform a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go over here for the we have to go over here in the system configuration go to services go over here disable all hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay that's going to ask you restart if restart is there you have to go to restart which which means those who are watching this they have to go for restart but for me i have to go for exit without restart because i'm here in the middle of video but those who are watching this you have to go for restart once restart is done we have to go over here and try launch the game next one is nothing but we have to disable the steam overlay for this we just need to go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties now from here make sure this is turned off if it is turned it on you have to turn this off once you turn this off try launch the game if that is not working we have to go to the launch option the first command over here is dx11 try with dx11 it should be small letter you have to go over here and try with dx11 try dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working go over here for dx12 and try launch the game as well so either dx11 or we have to try with the dx12 any one of the thing has to be worked and any one of the thing will be completely working out and you have to launch the game as well this is what you have to do next one is nothing but we have to try with the next one that is all about we need to close overlay applications over here so just go over here in the game right click over here in the start and go to the task manager now from here you will be understood that there are many apps running in the background that is approximately around 43 apps running in the background so all of these apps are actually utilizing the performance of your pc which means they're utilizing the ram and that is why you're having the crashing issue 
So if you find anything over here like Discord, if you find anything over here like MSA Afterburner and etc, you have to remove it. And once you remove it, you just need to go over here and once you remove everything, for example, you know, uh, like I said, overlay as well as overclocking application, go over here, close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is nothing but we have to move to the next shop that is all about. We have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this reason, we have to go over here in the game, go over here in the search, go for graphics settings. Now, once you set into graphics settings, you can see there are many apps already added over here. We have to add the game. So just click on the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local DC, program for x86, go to Steam, go to Steam apps over here. You have to go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to go to football manager, 20, uh, sorry, F1 manager 2023, select this one and add it. So right now this is added successfully and once you add this just need to click on the option and make sure this is being set into high performance and once you set this to high performance you have to close this and go back and try launch the game. Running the game on dedicated graphics card it work it for many users so you can try this out as well. Make sure one is nothing but we have to increase the virtual memory. For this reason we have to go over here in the search, go over here review advanced system setting, search for this one and we have to go to the advanced. Go for setting once again, go to advanced once again, click on the change and once you click on the change you have to go to custom size, click on this one initial size where we have to give the initial size value 1.5 times the total RAM, the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So 1.5 we need a calculator to do the calculation so just go over here select the calculator so you have to type your RAM. So the RAM of my computer is 32 GB so that's why I'm typing 32 and once you're done with this you have to multiply with your constant value that is 1024 that brings you this and you have to multiply with 1.5 so that brings you 30 149,152 so just paste it. Next value is all about maximum size we have to go to the maximum size that is we have to go to 32 GB and multiply with 1024. So multiply with 1024 and you have to multiply 1024 into 3 that brings you 98,304 and you have to copy this and you have to paste it as well. So once you give the value initial size which is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM you have to go over here okay you have to set everything now close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is nothing but we have to update the windows. For updating the windows we have to go over here in the search. Now from here we have to go to settings, go to windows update over here, cross check whether you are on the latest version of update and if you are on the latest version of update you are fine with that or else we have to close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, do is we just need to update the graphics card so I'll be providing a link in the description to both. So over here if you go to that you will be taken to the GeoF NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. NVIDIA users have to go over here and if you select the details like you have to select the GeForce if you're on GeForce if you're on Titan select this one if you're on Legacy select this one if you're on 3D Vision Ion etc so you have to select this one for the product series we have to select the respective product series which one you are actually belonging you have to select this one and once you select the product series you have to select the product type you have to select the operating system has to select and language etc and go for start search and once you go for start search you have to keep scrolling down and we'll be getting all the latest released version that is 536.67 is the latest released version. You have to download this one, install, restart the PC and try launch the game. Next one we have to go over here in the AMD, select this one and go over here as well. You have to go over here and go for submit. And once you go for submit, you have to download Windows 11. If you're on Windows 11, if you're on Windows 10, you have to download this one. Download is either Windows 11 or Windows 10 and install and restart the PC. So if you have, you can also try one more step that's called latest, you can install Microsoft Visual C++, which I'll be providing in the description. So you can go to this link and you can download if you're on x64 based one. If you're on x86 based one, you can download this one. If you're on x64, you can download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Lash and the leash one is all about what you can try as we can uninstall and reinstall the game. For this reason we have to go over here in the game, right click over here, go to the manage, uninstall the game for reinstall it back. You should be installing back on the same local disk but should not be installing back on the same local disk. You have to try with any other local disk. Which means you have to change the position of local disk from where you uninstall to a new one. So these are the possible workaround which can be done for the game F1 Manager 2023 which released right now and how we can fix this up and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell 
back in for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye